10. Still in ketosis. All right, guys. I woke up with my ear on day 10. My right ear doing what my left ear was doing a couple days ago. Like aching. It's like a deep, deep ache. Oh. All right, y'all. This is going to be before I scrape my tongue. Now I'm getting ready to floss, brush my teeth, and scrape my tongue and show you the difference. I thought I recorded an after video, but this is what my tongue looked like after. And once again, let's recap the before. Y'all see how white and ugh it looked? This scraper is amazing. You must get one. I am, I don't know, I'm on a blast of watching room makeovers. <laughs> so listen, y'all. I, 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 I want you, hold on, let me wipe this off. Oh, I'm wiping off the one thing. Okay. So guys, listen. Okay, I gotta pause that because she's too loud. Hold on, y'all. Hold on one second. My phone got a lock screen and it locks every time I wait a couple seconds. Okay. Your girl. Your girl has not eaten anything in 10 freaking days. 10 days. 10 days. Well, if you count the just fruit OMAD one freaking meal a day, 13 days, like... 10 days I have not put nothing in my mouth. In 10 days I have not eaten any solid food, let anything go down my throat as a solid or smooth or creamy or nothing. Okay? I, I had to. Because sometimes we don't do that and I think that's my problem in life. I've always been the type where I just, I'm so humble um, and it's not that I'm being, you're being unhumble by patting yourself on the back, but we need to encourage ourselves, pat ourselves on the back. You know, if we do something that we thought we couldn't do, don't take it lightly. Some of you have told me you're on day five, you're on day seven, you're on day eight, you're just starting, I inspire you to do this. Pat yourself on the back. How many people do you know can go without food for 24 hours? Let's just go with 24 hours, okay? How many people do you know can do that? Not many. Because why? It is a struggle. It is a mental struggle. This is absolutely channeling your willpower to the freaking fullest. And I have said this before and I'll repeat this again. I am doing this because I enjoy food. I am not going to neglect myself of eating food. I am still going to indulge in what I like. I'm going to have a flexible eating lifestyle where I eat what I like, but I be mindful of how much I eat it because I can't see myself giving away, giving up pound cakes and pecan pies and sweet potato pies and potatoes and pasta. I can't at this moment. Now, as you grow and mature and whatever it is you're, that you're doing that's positive, you tend to, uh, what is the word, transition into things that may be better for you. So I'm not saying that I won't stop eating those ever in life. I don't know. I'm not saying that I won't ever um, just uh, stop start eating only vegetables. I don't know. At this time, I'm working on where my mental is now and what is best for me at this moment and um if it's God's will that those other things transition in my life, those styles of eating, it'll be for the better. You get what I'm saying? But where I am now, I'm patting myself on the back because this, look at it, look at this, it's getting more and more space in it. Y'all see that? This journey is a hard one. I cannot do regular water. My husband's going to go get me some, um, some, I try to get all I can in these videos without making them long, but I love to anything that comes to my mind that, that hits my heart. I love to speak to y'all about it because who knows my, who might be going through the same thing. And that, since I'm not sharing, you won't know. Um, I'll scrape my tongue today. Oh my gosh, y'all seen that? I probably should have showed y'all that before that. It might have already been shown before and after a, 
my tongue results after the scraper the scraper is amazing you will get that thick tongue that white tongue all that because it's detoxing stuff coming up out of the, your tongue um so yeah my water tastes disgusting especially if i haven't scraped my tongue and um i will definitely try to get the this water jug information up to you guys this week coming um but yeah what was i finna say yeah I, I'm, I'm amazed at it um i'm doing it i'm doing it and, and it is it's mind-boggling to myself when I look at the calendar like, oh my gosh, look at these days just adding up, girl. But you did it. You did it. And so this will be a reminder to me when I feel like I'm weak or I feel like I can't do something. I'm like, girl, bye. You did such and such a days of no food. You can't do what? You can't do who? Where? Why? <laughs> Not a go. You better get it together, girl. So, yeah. That's that pep talk in the brain. Yeah, so um, just want to come to you guys with that. Uh, yeah. Oh, I ordered me a waist trainer off of Amazon. And this is supposed to be the best seller. And I seen some girls on YouTube. Because you know how they do the um, reviews. And, and then you can go to the reviews on Amazon. And some people might have videos linked. So I seen a couple. One girl was Haitian. And then it was another girl. Another two girls. And the reviews were pretty cool. Um, So I got one. Because the one I got. Hold on. Let me show you the one I got. This is old school. I think I bought this. I kid y'all not. I bought this in like 2012. 2011. And um, I don't. Hold on y'all. Let me pause this. Well no I ain't got to pause it. I don't really like. Oh lord. Maybe I do got to pause it. Because I don't know where she at. Y'all, I cannot find my waist trainer. I'm really not feeling this situation right now. Hold on. I found that. It was with my, um, my, uh, Lord Jesus. My, um, dang it. Workout clothes. Let me turn the camera around. So I got some new ones. Don't know which one is going to taste good, but that berry taste with this lemonade is just what my taste buds is not popping right now. So the one that I'm really thinking about is trying this one. Then if that one don't work, I'm going to try this one. And I'm like, sour, should I have got sour? I bet when I'm not drinking, I mean, um, on a fast, it'll probably taste fine for when I want something similar to Kool-Aid. But right now, I don't know. I'm getting ready to pour this out. I can't. I hate wasting stuff, but I can't. Um, and I need to have something in my body. So I'm going to um, get rid of this one. And I know, I know. Let me do this, guys. Let me do this for those who might be in the comments saying stuff. Anything can be bad for you if you have too much of it. Like, real talk. So, yeah. Let me do it my way. All right? Bye, y'all. I noticed for the Wilders you get 10, but for the other ones you only get 6. See how they play so much? Pineapple is not the business. Ugh, disgusting. Tastes like baby medicine. Can't do it. Let me try the next one. Surprisingly, I love the lemonade. It's just, it's like lemon with sweetener. I think that berry taste of the strawberries and that strawberry lemonade was not working for me. This, this is it for me. This is it. I Right now, I can guzzle this down. It tastes like regular lemonade. This had too much sweetness in it. The strawberry from the uh, strawberry lemonade was the freaking disgusting. That strawberry taste was doing something to my mouth. and ugh. But the lemonade is absolutely delicious. So I'm going to make up, mix up some more, fill it all the way up. And yeah, that'll be what it is. This in there because I don't know if this was made clear. The fasting did not take away my cravings for the things that I enjoy. Um, I can't say that, um, no, what I mean by, like, I still cannot wait to eat certain things like pastas and mashed potatoes and stuff. I still can't wait to eat those things. Um, I still desire to have those things. It's just that I utilize this to channel my willpower. So that way, when I do go back to eating those things, I can learn to be very moderate and, and consume a decent amount, not a 
overdoing it amount because that's what I was doing. I was overdoing everything I ate, not just one slice of pie, not just one piece of cake. I was eating four or five slices, you know what I'm saying? Three, four slices of pie, um, eating pasta and eating the biggest size I could instead of, you know, splitting it down the middle and eating half now, eating half later. I am doing this to channel my willpower. And I feel like if, like I said, if you're, you know, you've been rocking and you've been watching the vlogs, if I can do this, um, there's no way that I can't, um, channel my willpower to eat the way I'm supposed to and not have a problem with, um, consuming the things that I really enjoy that's what my main goal is just so people would know and to push me closer to my goal and to basically have that motivation of girl you did all this work we don't want to mess it up with doing too much when I eat so that was it I'm just thinking about it while I was sitting here watching mukbangs but yeah that was it y'all all right y'all I don't know what time what time the computer say 11.04 and I just like she lightly goes. used the bathroom again ridiculous I don't get what's going on I really don't get what's going on oh well So guys, I started off with this picture and I was about 255, 254 in this picture. And I'm sharing this because um, that was the next time I put this shirt on and I felt some type of way. I'm like, wow, you are really progressing. Now here's the thing, you have to take pictures because they will not only motivate others, but they will motivate you to keep pushing because you see the transformation. Do you guys see where I was? Would I have shown these in the beginning? No, I was too embarrassed of my body and I didn't like it. But because I don't like it, that's why I'm pushing hard to change it. And I want to share this so that someone else can change it and know that I'm no better than them and you can do it too. I was doing too much and uh yeah. So <laughs> yesterday um was what oh lord wait hold on something is wrong y'all something is wrong uh, wait a minute why is this hold on y'all see what i did you didn't tell me i put the wrong date this was supposed to be 24 this was supposed to be 24 right oh my gosh wait and this oh gosh because mark coming from y'all I don't know what the heck happened because why is where is my 220 yesterday was 225 so today will be 226 why is it I should have been doing this every day so this I didn't just lose one pound going from this day that I don't know what the heck Hold on, let me, let me figure this out. Because I was talking, thought I was recording, and I pushed that off. So that wasn't there. Now, it was up to there, if I'm not mistaken. Let me go look at my last video, because I'm going crazy. Hold on, hold on. Remember, I only dropped 0.6 um, as results for day um, 8 or 9. No, 9, I think it was. I only dropped 0.6. That's why I did that slash, because that wasn't even half a pound to me. So, I put the amount, which was 250, because from 251 to 250.4 was only 0.6. And then, what happened was, the next day, I dropped a pound and a half. So, I did the halfway, the rest of the, that line, and that, and I forgot to put the date. That's what it was. I'm like, what the heck? So, today, today, I am going to, I already did that because I was so excited and I wasn't recording. So, today, I lost two pounds. So, we have the halfway mark i made it i made it i'm not done fasting but i made it and then we're gonna do another two pounds and then we are going to put 247 up here i can't record it okay 247 and it's even so we're gonna put zero and then the date is 526 Sunday. All 
right guys let's push we can do it we can do it if we put our mind to it push let's push you can do it i can do it if we put our mind to it push let's push